Easy, easy. Please take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. So you're the master race, huh? You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? Okay. Read it. It's really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack, and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian, I've known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir, are a real fool. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural-born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Hey, what are you doing? You're going down now. Okay, there. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, 
Let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Oh, come on! <laughs> Stop just there! Now! Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. <laughs> well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. And I guess they'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs>
God's work. Let's see now. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. <laughs> the engine! It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! We caught him! In the middle of his dinner! This is history-making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Could've been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! Okay, so, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, the gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. Not quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Ha 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 ha, yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone! Ah! Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. <sighs> Fine. But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. Keep going. Through the palms. Oh, it disappeared toward the back of the island. You'll be fine. Just don't step on it. Come on, you big dozy lizard. Rouse yourself. Oh, uh, here, Gator. Over here, boy. Got some juicy, fat humans for you to eat. Oh, he's awake. Beat him back here, quick. Quick, jump in the boat. In, 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 in. Him. What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. 
What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well... I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Docker here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They gonna be any good? <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop... jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, I'll... Good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Easy.